I like to take this and challenge myself. Brave DJ is something you never done before. It's always new. When I opened a meta, I didn't know I could be successful. And when I decided to become a chef, I didn't know I could be a Michelin star chef. And it's all about when you take a big risk. If you don't take risk, if you stay just where you are comfortable, you don't know your future. In Meta, we do modern Asian cuisine with a French inspired based on a seasonal ingredient. So the cuisine in Meta is a, can be anything. I can serve Chinese food, I can serve French food, I can serve Japanese and Korea. Anything is tasty and flavorful, I serve in Meta. I co cooperate Asian elements to my dishes to use uh, my, my heritage uh, flavors, which is gochujang, uh, Korean chili paste, and soy sauce. I was really inspired by uh, Chef Tessia, how he created the dish, and how he, he came up with the menu, and his life story as well. So uh, I decided to move to Australia. At that time, I didn't speak English at all, and I studied myself, and I tried to pick up the language. And I just wanted to go to Australia and then find a job in Asia. The biggest risk I take in my career was uh, opening a Meta. I used to work for one of the best restaurants in the world. And then from the restaurant, I came out and I was no one. And I had to start from the beginning. First week of uh, opening Meta, we had so many reviews that not so good. <laughs> I struggled to find my cuisine. Like I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I think I, I tried too hard to make it like happen. I was thinking like oh, maybe I, I should do something I like familiar. I just do something simple. Maybe people just come and enjoy my food. Uh, time goes by. I try to do something that I am more confidence with. My team also grow with me. Like slowly they pick up uh, what I wanted to do. I actually come up with the new ideas that I, what I experienced. I tried to eat uh, all the hawker food, the traditional food that you can find in Singapore. And I, I tried to create my version of the flavors. The classic carrot cake, I uh, pair with uh, a pickle uh, carrot. And also there is a, a, a orange sorbet to balance up the flavor. So you have a crunchiness from the pickled carrot, a sweetness from the carrot cake, and sourness from the orange sorbet. I like to play with the colors. When you eat my, my dishes, it has got a balance of flavors. Also, when you look at my dishes, it has a balance of a colors. So I use uh, as a first course uh, Japanese sea bream, tata style. We put the seasonal Japanese sea bream from uh, Kansai with uh, avocado cream and usually infused tomato, veggie oil. They bring more like a spring flavor. When I uh, design this late thing, I want diners to feel and it's a spring dish. So I put uh, many colors into the dish. Visually, it, it's just the spring of flower. Uh, being visual is very important because when the, uh, the food is served, you see the, the dishes with your eyes and then it has to be attractive for the diners. The experience uh, starting at uh, is a short time, it's two years only, but it, it felt like I went to a long journey. I struggle, I fail. It's not success yet, but I think I, I know what I want.